a minute ago I just posted a video about asking why there's a light shining across the parking lot like basically if I open the front door it shines right into my face and I think I just got a hint about what's going on here I, I said I thought it was to hide drones but it might be more than that it might also be just straight-out harassment now I've been watching, like I cannot see drones. I mean, now I can tell that there's actually a haze, also a fog over the sky, but I've been watching these things fly around. Um, I don't know who they attach to. I don't know if they're attached to military, corporate, or, I, but the military has to be monitoring all of this. Um, none of this stuff shows up on radar or anything. So, I mean, what I'm getting at here is that my apartment complex has been fully complicit in the stuff that's been happening to me. And they've been really, you know, I've had to sign a lease. My mom pays my rent because I'm so blacklisted. Um, I can't work. I can't support myself. Um, so I'm in a very precarious situation, right? Um, I'm basically dependent on the people who've been trafficking me for even having a roof over my head. So... Um, I, you know, should, I mean, okay, so I'm a crime victim. Should I be, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to speculate on what's going to happen. I need to get out of this. That's all I know. I have to get out of this situation. I need to not be dependent on people who are trafficking me for um, a roof over my head. And there's no reason why they should be considering everything, you know, considering the whole structure around this and what the laws actually say um, but even if even if we weren't going by the law it just there's just no way okay there's just no way that this makes any sense um, that this can be even be happening but um, I just know that my my you know my apartment has cameras and cameras hidden cameras it has frequencies throughout the walls so there's mind control stuff going on in my apartment. I've been attacked, you know, from neighboring apartments, although not not that I know of any in, in recent months at all. Um, but, you know, they, they really gung-ho to have me sign a year lease, you know, and I know that this, the way this so-called so game is, is moving, there's, you know, okay, I'm not saying I... Can, I agree with all of this, right? What I want to do is work this out so that it may, you know, everybody feels okay with it. And so people want to say that there's a clock around this, okay? I don't agree that this clock is valid because I don't agree that this game is valid. I don't agree that my enslavement is valid. I don't agree that my trafficking is valid. I don't agree that the torture and abuse and attacks that I've been suffering are valid. I don't agree that any of that is valid. And it's not. It's not legal. It's not valid. There's no, there's no excuse for it. But... If it makes people feel better to let me out at a juncture, right? I know that juncture is coming up. I know the juncture is sometime between, say, Christmas and January 20th. Okay, because January 20th is really when I discovered that the surveillance was happening. So that's when it needs to happen. And I had a little message come to me in a dream that somebody was gonna, some people were gonna go like, okay, now we're gonna tell her to wait till July 4th. Because sometimes they can talk about July 4th, Independence Day, they're gonna, you know, maybe let me out. But of course, what happens inevitably is, you know, they come up with some excuse to, to, to tack on another six months or another year. I'm not even in here for any reason. I, it's not like I committed a crime and I've been not given due process and I'm, you know, incarcerated for any reason at, at all. This is just so that I can be trafficked. So um, that's not acceptable, especially now that these attacks are getting so lethal. Um, so I refuse to sign a lease because I intend for this to end within, you know, we're, right now it's November 28th. Um, so within one to two man months, I intend for this to be resolved. At least to the point where I, I'm, I'm given a safe place to live and um, protected from these 
ongoing attacks and also violations of my privacy. So I have not signed the lease. Um, now what's happened is they've tacked on some extra um, money um, that my mom refuses to pay. And I talked to my mom about this first and I explained why I didn't want to sign the lease. I said, I really need to get out. It's really important that I get out of here now. And, um, you know, they're increased, they're attacking my father, you know, um, it's not just me, it's other people. Okay. And, and another person that seems like they're being attacked is Mark Lanigan. I think Mark Lanigan from the very beginning has been attacked. Like from the time that I noticed this stuff going on, I noticed him being attacked on social media, being, um, you know, fake Twitters created to kind of like try to, you know, him and others, but, um, but it's more than that. He's, I think his family's being medically attacked right now. And if they succeed in killing us, which is what they're trying to do right now, um, there's going to be other people that follow. It's not going to stop with us. Like, there is actually, I mean, I've been told by re reliable, what I consider to be reliable sources, that there's a literal genocide being planned. They need to get us out of the way, and then they'll have, you know, they uh, apparently feel pretty confident that they'll have completely unlimited power by that point. And their power is pretty good right now, but it seems like there's some type of checks and balances on it. So this is not... It's not even a game. I mean, this is serious, scary stuff. And so, I mean, maybe you're okay with me being killed. Maybe you're okay with Chris being killed. Maybe you're okay with my daughter being killed. Maybe you're okay with, you know, other people being killed. But, you know, really? Are you, how many people are you okay with being killed? And what if it's you? What if it's your family members? You know, is it really worth that pile of gravel in your yard? Is it really worth a new construction, home renovation, new car? Is it? You know, um... So I'm not signing this lease, um, but but what that means is that they're charging me an extra forty dollars. I don't even have forty dollars a month to pay on the extra forty dollars a month. So, but you know, once again, I am paying just like when you go to the doctor and you pay them, you know, and they've made you sick in the first place, which is one of the things that's going on. This is a situation where I'm actually being trafficked from these apartments. And I'm sure that this landlord is cashing in on that, but yet they're also charging rent. So I'm not sure how this works financially for people like my mom and stuff, but it just doesn't make sense to me uh, that this can even happen. I mean, here they are sex trafficking you, enslaving you, and torturing you, and yet you're paying them. So I found these, this paperwork in a pile in an unusual location. And it was also here next to, um, oh, and this thing with renter's insurance too. I don't know what the deal with that was, but they were, um, and, and then this whole thing about, they were talking about, um, you know, um, inspecting fire sprinklers and things like that. I don't know, but um, let's see. So, it's here with Chris's um, royalty, you know, annual royalty notice, you know, for tax purposes. Chris has well over 300 songs registered with BMI. His royalties for 2015 were $18.53. And they continue to send it to this flying heart, crooked place. Well, they, they no, actually, they send it to us, but they put CO flying heart records. So, like I said, he has over 300 songs, I think, registered BMI. And, you know, he's been forced to self-releases albums, but even for self-released albums and everything like that, it's pretty, pretty pathetic how much money he's, he's making, considering, once again, um, that Mud, Honey, and Nirvana basically um, borrowed from him so heavily. Um, but that's why. Okay, that's exactly why, and it's not, it's not because of Nirvana. 
Okay, it's not Nirvana that, that planned this out. It's Mudhoney. It's Steve Turner and Mark Arm.